They know what they need tonight. A win in this game and a favourable result elsewhere to make it to the knockout stages. Stay with us on EA TV. Welcome on a wet night for all concerned. It's been raining cats and dogs here. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And for both teams, it's the final league phase contest in this season's quest for the Champions League. It's Molde and they face Slavia Prague. Well, Derek, these fans will be slightly nervous today. This is a massive game for the club. They just need to hold their nerve here. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, it's a 3-4-2-1, but they can't allow their centre forward to become too isolated. And that will be determined by the two players in behind him. They have to affect the game and be the key players here. And now they get the ball rolling. Ebien. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Masopust. Looks promising. He takes it. The save was a good one. Now the situation has changed in one of the other games I'm hearing. Let's go to Alex Scott. Yes, it's a goal for Chelsea. Nice build-up play, and when the space opened up, boy, did he take it well. It's now 1-0 with seven minutes on the clock. Thank you, Alex. of goalkeeping well he got it all right there that's an excellent save from the keeper you have to say that they favored a short one here it's a neat move looked as though there might be a threat but not so in the end good defending Well, a glance at the table confirms that the home side are not really in the position they would ideally want to be in. It's pretty critical, Stuart, if they have designs on progressing. Well, they just have to worry about their performance today. They certainly can't affect what goes on in the other match. Hopefully they can get the three points, and that might be enough to see them through. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. 
Well, it clearly was deflected, so it will be their throw in. And losing possession. Must take the lead here. Oh, it's a really well timed challenge. Well, it's fair to say he's been across all the back pages and the focus of social media as well leading into this game. The question was, would he feature, would he not? Well, not only is he in the squad, but he's actually been deemed fit enough to start this one, Stuart. Well, it's good to see him back. Obviously, the injury wasn't too bad. Let's hope he can have an impact today. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Well, we have a goal to tell you about in one of the other matches. Alex has the news. It's a goal for Leipzig. They've scored the opener here with 23 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. And possession changing hands. Well, that's eye-catching wide play. Oscar Dorle. Kipil. They're getting the ball forward, but really sticking to their task defensively. Might go ahead. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Rioson. to be on their toes defensively given the circumstances Masopust can he find the right pass it's with Masopust nicely timed tackle Rioson Jürgen Strand Larsen. That's how to dispossess your opponent. Lee. Now, someone has scored in one of the other matches. Let's find out exactly who. Alex Scott will tell us. Yeah. The goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Is this the moment? A pure instinct from the keeper. Well, a top-class reaction from a top-class goalkeeper. Brilliant stuff. Short corner favour. And the press is on. Well, unfortunately, we had to interrupt Alex just then. Apologies for that. Just to clap. Chance to take the lead. Oh, how about that for the last line of defence? Of challenge. Oscar Dorle. Oh, big opportunity. Genuine chance. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway.
Oscar Dorley. Fruitful looking attack. It's with Masopust. Well, time for a scoring update because things are changing. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Arsenal. The free kick was well executed, but it had a big deflection and it's gone in off the wall. They're ahead by two now with 48 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always, Alex. Well, Leicester fans have been wondering, would the deal go through? It is now official. They've got their man, Stuart. Yes, it's an exciting move for him, and hopefully we'll now see the best of him. But he'll need to set in quick. Opportunity it is. And a really good stop. Well, that's a save of the highest quality. Great goalkeeping there. And short it is. And the cross goes in. Could be threatening. And throws it through. A goal! On the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Back underway, 1-0 it is. Andre Linger. It's with Masopust. Good patient build-up as they try to fashion something. They could level it. Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. Bellingham. Now we have a goal to tell you about in one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott. It's a second goal for Chelsea. They're now behind by one with 61 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Jürgen Strand Larsen. Difficult to stop him. Nicely saved. Time for a change there. Played short. Gives them a go. Wonderful block. Delivered into the area here. And it still could be dangerous. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Attacking with vigor. Very quick thinking there. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Determined defending. Linger. It's with Masopust. Options in the middle. 
It's a neat move. Vital intervention. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. There to win it back. And there's been a change to the scoreline in one of the other games. Alex has details. It's a goal for Chelsea. They now lead 3-2 with just over 10 minutes left to play. Many thanks as ever, Alex. And nicely over the top. It's got to be! A oh, magnificent reaction. He has teammates around him. Oscar Dorley. Late in the game here, and they know what they've got to do. Bellingham. Good-looking sequence but really sticking to their task defensively. Well, news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alex Scott. A real opening now. Oh, we have just witnessed a special moment. Pure quality. Well, let's take another look at this because the turn to beat his marker is absolutely brilliant. He just leaves him for dead and opens up the space for him to finish. What a piece of skill that is. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Dorley. Clean challenge. Lee. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Chance to attack using width. Can he put it away? In it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. this game he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way Stuart well what more could you ask for his build-up play was clever his movement was dynamic and he scored a couple of goals what a player he is